Hey everyone, it's Tiffy and it is time for a new Manny this week. I already prepped my nails. I put some Color Street Strength Thinner on them and now it's time to try one of our sets from the new spring collection. Well, yes, it's a new spring collection. Everything's a little different now than it used to be. But uh, so this is from the collection that released this spring called Avant Garden. And you probably remember me kind of bra bragging, raving about it because of I never got to wear, wear Chasing Clouds. So if you know what Chasing Clouds is, it was a color that it was a shade that came out last year and it was a Prism FX that was, why is it not focusing? Anyways, it was a, uh, anyway, it was a Prism FX that was white, and that's what the base of this is. And then there's little flowers on it, and I love this. I mean, look how pretty this is. So you might, if you watched one of my previous videos, and I was talking about this one, this is one of my favorite that came out. I was going to do a Manny using the... Sweet Stuff Collection. I had all the sets and everything set up. I mean, they were still in the packaging, but now I can't find them anywhere. And I looked pretty much for like the last hour for them. I'm like, where are those? Because I, I had this whole plan for them and how I was going to apply them to get different colors. And now it's not gonna work out for me, so. Maybe I'll do that on the next one. I will say this. We'll talk a little bit about that after I get done talking about this. But, so this is called Avant Garden. It is from the limited collection called Electric Meadows. It is so pretty. This is one of my favorite ones. It came out for that so this is like one of the little mini spring um, collections we have now instead of having you know a fall collection and a spring and then we have all those little ones we're gonna have just a core catalog that comes out in the when this in the link for the new core catalog will be in the description below in my link tree so if you click on the link tree um, link you will be able to get over there and you'll see a link that says you know 2023 catalog it's it's basically the what am i this is not this is not focusing the way i like it to um you know so there so that's what's going on now instead of having like a spring collection and a fall collection and a mini so we will still have those like we we had this little spring one that came out that was called the electric meadows but now we just have a core line that will change once a year and we will have a you know the little collections you know that come out periodically just makes it a little less confusing, a little better for everyone, you know? So if you do have specific stuff that you like, you know, the, some of those core shades are always gonna be there, you know, like Tokyo Lights. What is that? Is that a hair? No, no, Fuzz. No, Fuzz. Okay, I gotta get a better, like a different kind of, maybe I just, I need something that's like, maybe I can find like a, like a piece of vinyl or something, you know? I need to go to Joanne's and find something. Okay, I'll talk about the sweet stuff because that was actually what I was supposed to be filming. And most likely those little sets that I had laid out will be making an appearance, I'm sure, at some time tomorrow. <laughs> you know, isn't that like what always happens is whenever you lose something right what it shows up what like 
the next day or right after you don't need it anymore or after you thought it got lost so you repurchase something yeah that's what happened so oh, man stuff just happens right so i don't know where they are but i'm sure they'll show up anywho as i was talking uh sweet stuff is these they are Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, four shades. So there is a yellow, an orange, yellow. There's a yellow, an orange, and a, which is called grapefruit. There is a raspberry, which is a pinky kind of shade, and a blueberry. And it is blue, of course. So they are transparent. And the cool thing about the fact that they're transparent is you can layer them on top of each other. I mean, obviously you can wear them straight, you know, as, as is. You can layer them on top of one another to create different colors, obviously, if you put blue over yellow. yellow. By the way, the yellow is called banana. Uh, banana bonanza. If you layer that over the yellow, you're going to get a green shade. If you layer, you know the blue and the raspberry together, then you're going to get a purple shade. Now, with that being said, you can layer those over other sets and get different shades, obviously. And it is so cool and I wanted to play with them. I had seen a Manny done and I wanted to you know show practice you know, try it because it was something I had never done it was way out of my comfort zone as far as the type of manicure it was it was a negative space manicure I don't tend to do those a lot I did one last week with the you know the green uh, St. Patty's Day you know, I guess it was a little, yeah, it was um, the St. Patty's Day one where I just did the slant. But this is a little bit different. And I never have done this technique. And I just wanted to try it. I wanted to do something fun and different. And it just fell through. So the those will only be available for a few more days, you guys, until the end of the month. So if you really want one of those and you want to play with them, Go to my link below and click on the Sweet Stuff collection and, you know, get them before they're gone. I will have to let you know this, though, that the, the yellow shade is only an accent pack, so there's only four. There's only four in the accent pack. The rest of them are going to be, you know, regular full sets. I have seen all those little fuzz. I gotta find something better than this. This is just crazy. So. It is now officially fully spring also, so that is so awesome. I don't know if it is warming up in your area, if it's still really chilly. I mean, in some areas are sun in the snow. But it'll only be a matter of time before, come on, you know, it's full on. And I have to let you guys know this. I've been doing wearing, wearing Color Street for a year and a half, and I have never worn a Prism FX. So this is really exciting to me because I've never worn a Prism FX ever. This is my first time. And you know what's crazy is this, I think Prism FX is generally like $15 and I want to say this was $14. And it's a, it's a Prism FX and it's a, it's a print, like a, you know, like a nail art, which I'm just don't know why they wouldn't have put it up there for $15, but I'm not complaining. You know, 
that I think is a really pretty set. I don't know if any of you guys have had a chance to grab this one or used this one yet, but oh yes. I love it. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the sunlight. So florals are going to be really big this spring in general. You know, they're very trendy right now. They generally are every spring. Let's just, you know, stop for a second with that comment that I just made, obviously. They're always, you know, gonna be popular in the spring. Last year, there was one that came out that I loved and it was white and it was called Bloomer Has It. And I loved that one too. I wore that one. That was one of the very first ones I wore. It was either like, I think it was, it was either the first or second one I wore from the spring collection. And I loved it so much. It was white like this. There was no glitter on it though. And it had all these little pretty flowers. And I don't remember if I did that one live or if I just did my nails and put a picture up. It was, I had, I was a stylist when that was released, but I wasn't making any videos at that point. I was only doing some lives occasionally in my VIP group. But Bloomer Has It is now retired and this year they brought us this, and this is so gorgeous, a little watercolor look to it and everything. I don't know if you guys have seen the Electric Meadows collection, please let me know what your favorite one is out of the collection. I love this one so much. And I love the one with the little bitty flowers. There's like... There's like these little tiny, tiny flowers on some of them that are just, it's an overlay. And I'm going to wear that one too. I say that. Let me say this. You guys, I have so many sets that I say I was going to wear. And like my personal sets, you know, that I go, oh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to wear that for myself. Oh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to wear that for myself. Some before I started as a stylist and some obviously after. And that box just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I was contemplating doing this as a mixed mani, but this is just so beautiful. I just thought it would just be fine by itself. And I had never worn a Prism FX and I just wanted the full kind of like experience of it. And I love that. Glitter, that beautiful glitter on there. Very pretty. They remind me of just like a watercolor painting, you know. This is a mixed mani, quick mixed mani. So I do love it when they do sets like this because you kind of get a different look on every single nail. It's kind of like a quick you know the quick out the door manny you know you don't have time to sit there and do your nails for a very long time you got to get going you know this is a great set for that this is a set that i would say hey if you're taking a trip or you're traveling and you want to bring like let's say you're going to want to change your nails once while you're on your vacation or your trip this is great. These types of sets are great because you don't need any more than just the one set. You know, you gotta, if you like a mixed Manny look, you know, sometimes, and then I gotta tell you these travel well, but sometimes you don't wanna bring, you know, three sets, you know, just to do one manicure and then you gotta bring your special, um, all your special tools for cutting and all that stuff. This is just perfect for just that. Or if you just like to have a quick mani. Man, the 
this is so pretty. I am, I am still thinking about like, where did those, where did those jellies go? Where did they go? I wanted to play with those so bad. So. One of the things I really like about spring is when all the birds start coming around, you know, and getting excited. I love birds, if you didn't know that. I, I've never had a bird or anything, but I love them. And I love watching them, you know, just do their thing and fly and be cute. I like listening to them in the mornings. So that's one, come on, go underneath there. That's one thing that I just, um, man, I cannot, I think the angle on my camera is a little different this time, y'all. Because if it's just, it feels like it is. See how it's, I don't know, it just feels like it is. Might be. But it's all the little birds are starting to come back because it's warming up. I mean, they never, some of them never went anywhere, but you know what I mean. Like when you see them, you know, being super active again and stuff. I love that. I love it. Let me see if I can adjust this really quick, okay? I don't know what the problem was. I have no idea what the problem is. I was thinking maybe it's the way it's sitting. I don't know. I think it was the way it was sitting. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It was kind of angled a little differently. But this collection, we'll just get back to the to the nail stuff and we don't have to listen to me babble on about how I like birds. Uh, <laughs> I will say, I do like, um, in winter, uh, they have, they have, <laughs> in nature, everyone, there's these little tiny squatty bluebirds that are just adorable, that I really like to, to, to look at. You know, so they, they like the chillier, chillier temperatures, you know, so, and depending upon where you live, they're going to come out or be around, you know, like different times, and some, you might not even have them where you live, but there's these little short squatty bluebirds, I love them, sometime, I want to say, and if you're a fan of the Biltmore Mansion, uh, up in North Carolina, they, I want to say, have a bird watching kind of tour for the bluebirds. I want to say that. Certain times of the year, obviously. I've never done it, but I want to say I saw that on there. They also have like, like a falcon. Also, I've seen that on there too, but I think that you can have like land on your arm or something, I'm assuming. I've never done anything like that at all. Um, but the one thing I do love is to watch birds, um, just, they just make me really happy, you know? Anyway. Oh, 
Oh, don't, don't, don't. I'm having trouble with this one right here. There we go. Get on over there. Uh, there we go. But this Electric Meadows collection, oh, it is, everything is gorgeous. Everything is beautiful. There isn't one set in this collection that I was like, ooh, that's kind of, mm -hmm. And yes, I don't like every single one that has, ever, like, every single set that's ever been out. I just, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, there are sets out there that I go, hmm, it's, somebody will like it. But with this one, I really did like every single one. You know? But I had my favorites. This was one of them little flower overlays both of the overlays are really cute but if i could only wear one it would be the little mini ones not the daisies the other one and then there was a butterfly one there i mean there was just so many pretty ones we'll see i don't know if at the time right now that i'm filming this it is the 25th of march and i don't know if we're gonna have i thought for sure we would have like some easter throwbacks by now Haven't had, haven't seen anything, so. Easter is, Easter's around the corner, and I haven't seen anything yet, heard anything yet. I'm wondering why we don't have any bunnies or anything. I was hoping for some little it would have been nice if they had brought that stuff out around the spring equinox, you know, for, you know, the the bunnies and stuff like that. And little eggs and chickens and all that. So you could have them in time to wear. And I don't have any, actually I had one Easter set. It was called Daisy Check. That was the only Easter set that I had left from last year. And it is gone. So, uh, it was, if you didn't know what it was, it was a really pretty uh, glitter set. But it was from last year's Easter collection. I think it was Hoppily Ever After. I think that was what it was called. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I want to say this, that's what it was called. And Easter, I don't think that they're, if, I mean, maybe, maybe something will come out in a couple days. Maybe they'll do a throwback or something, I don't know. Maybe they're just not going to do one. Maybe this was, I think this was it, to be honest, and the sweet stuff was supposed to be for Easter. So they look like little jelly beans. So, I'm thinking that these, the, this collection, you guys, and the sweet stuff collection were meant to be for completely for spring and Easter. So if I get any other news on it, obviously I'll let you guys know, but this is what we got for right now. Oh, oh what happened here? All right, so what does everyone think of this? Oh my gosh, oh, I love it. So pretty. All right, I will see you guys later, bye. All right. Oh, oh, I did want to say I would love it if you guys uh, like my videos and if you if you would like to um, see more of my content, you can subscribe to the channel. Or if you enjoyed the video, hitting the like bu button uh, lets me know. Or if you put a little comment below, that lets me know too that you enjoyed, you know, the content. All right. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.